Good day from the Government Information Service. I'm Huma Dimak with your Midday News Brief. The Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, DVRP, has lent much-needed support to the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, with financing from the World Bank Group, the DVRP, and the Department of Economic Development, the National Emergency Operations Center will receive the latest in audiovisual equipment and computers, all with CASIP's fiber-connected internet. With a duplicate system from FLU to ensure the continuity of service during a disaster. Through the contingent emergency response component, the operations center is also being provided logistical support through the procurement of a 4x4 double cab pickup for disaster planning and response. NEMO also received 371 1,000 gallon size water tanks for shelters and response agencies like the police, fire, and bodily correctional facility. NEMO has distributed these water tanks to schools, churches, human resource centers, and the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. 85 radios and 8 base stations were also procured under the DVRP to assist the health system and NEMO. The Department of Education has extended kindergarten registration for the academic year 2021-2022 for schools within the Castries Basin from January 11th to the 18th, 2021 online at www.kregistration.education.govt.lc. This late registration exercise will facilitate parents and guardians who have not registered their child award for entry into kindergarten for the following schools. Anglican Infant, Vidbutai Primary, St. Aloysius R.C. Boys Infant, Ave Maria Girls Infant, Camille Henry Memorial, Carmen Rennie Memorial, Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist, and Mondidor Primary. Parents and guardians should snap photos of the required documents and upload them as instructed on the website. For further information or clarification, please call 468-5259 or 468-5258 or WhatsApp 720-3252. Phase 1 of the flood mitigation project in the village of Denry is progressing. Along with the reduction in the disruption and damage which is caused to residents by flooding, this project will also address several health hazards associated with poor drainage. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney taught the project on the weekend and is satisfied with the quality of the works and is looking forward to the impact that the project will have on the lives of residents. This concludes your Midday News Brief on the National Television Network. Until next time, I'm Huma Dimark.